Hello, I'm Tom, um, and this is Herman, so... Uh, unfortunately he couldn't make it tonight, he's uh, not over 21, so they wouldn't let him in the door. Anyway, this evening I'm not just going to talk about Herman, but he is helping me with some of these slides. So I'm going to talk about a specific point, specific time in my life, or my design career, which was almost exactly one year ago. As you may have determined by now, uh, I'm not American, so I have a visa to be here. And this time last year, my visa was expiring. So. What that means is you have two months where you can stay in the US, but you can't work during that time. So I had planned for this, and I'd saved up money, and I wanted to use that period of time um, for self-reflection, to think about the work that I produced up until that point, and try and figure out what I wanted to do next. So, I want to just pause for the next 20 seconds and have you close your eyes and think to yourself about the last time you, were, you felt really creative. And I'd like you to think about how, how you felt during that time, any sounds you associate with that feeling, any architectural details, any people that you might associate with that feeling of creativity, any smells, I guess. This is a really long blank slide. <laughs> anyway, that was the end of the pause. Um, but that, the, the point of that was to try and give you some insight into uh, what my process was like for that two months. I basically journaled, wrote 750 words every day, reflecting back on my career up until that point, and trying to identify projects and environments and ways that I work to try and figure out what the next thing was gonna be. So a brief recap of those summaries, or focus on the summaries. As Don mentioned, I've done some work with Speedo, a bunch of um, digital products that have very experiential qualities to them. So in this case, you can't take a phone into a pool, um, but, the, the product is around the experience of being in the pool. Uh, while I was at SVA, I was doing a lot of projects that would take data from digital interactions and make them into physical products. So in this example here, this lamp is made from the distance between two people over time. And I did other experiments with email data, uh, music listening habits, uh, things like that. I also started a coaster company um, called Coastomatic, where you can print your Instagrams onto stone coasters. Um, it fortunately did well enough to pay for two flights to Hawaii, where we went to uh, focus on that full time with uh, my co-founder and I, Tash. I since left and moved back to New York. And then, then I started thinking about the environment. So I kind of had a good sense of the projects I'd worked on, um, but starting to think about the variety of environments I've been working in. Um, this is the amazing view from Smart Design, where I did some freelance work. Um, but thinking more about the types of culture that are associated with large organizations like Smart or Google or New York Times, where various projects happened, um, and then contrasting that against startups or startup environments, which are much, maybe much more organic, um, but I think have, uh, for me, a culture that generally have cultures that are more aligned with my interests, but finding a startup at the right scale or the right stage was really the important priority to me. And then I also tried working remotely, working from home, which I am twi at least twice as productive with uh, Herman helping me. Um, but unfortunately, I think I would go crazy if I did it every day uh, without the input of other creative people. Um, so, a few comments about working habits that I realized uh, in, in this reflection phase. The first was uh, thinking big thoughts. I find it very hard in anywhere that has a ceiling or walls, uh, preferably somewhere that has some form of transportation, like a bike or walking or in a sauna where you can't use technology in any way. Uh, those are all really important. Uh, this was my desk for a short time, um, but the point I'm trying to make for the slide <laughs> is tidy your desk. Uh, but also, <laughs> um, also the, uh, when the problem itself is very uh, physical in nature, uh, it's very important to, or I found it very important to immerse myself in that space. Um, this is also my uh, best setup so far, I think. It's the microwave standing desk. Um, it, was, it was great because it forced you to take breaks when someone wanted to eat something. Because just, you'd have to get out of the way. The microwave is here and the laptop is up here. I'd check out those shorts too. Um, also, I learned that I, I previously aspired to have big screens and big tablets and big fancy setups, but I really realized that 
uh, just having a tiny screen is kind of better for uh, focus, and having lots of paper to spread out around the screen, I found more beneficial for creating the real estate that I used to strive for from having that on a big display. So, just gonna pause for a brief moment. Maybe you can have a have a drink. But that was basically the summary of the reflections during this two month period, reflecting on my. Um, not ineligibility to work in the US. But I'm going to finish on three points um, that I think those uh, learnings really taught me about what to look for next. The first was figuring out which problem was the most important one or most valuable problem for me to focus my time on, invest in, um, what could keep me going for the next few years and really invest in that space. The next thing to figure out for me was uh, what, what vessel could that could enable this, and failing to find a hot dog car, which I'm still looking for. I, I took this photo and I still can't. I'd love to track this down. Anyway, um, the point is that vessel could be a freelance project or freelance projects or independent projects that make enough money to sustain myself, or an organisation that has very aligned values to focus on the challenge at hand. And the final thing I learned was if I'm in doubt about anything, just write something. The writing process for me is uh, extremely valuable and just having a conversation with yourself and understanding how you work, how you learn, uh, where things go from there. Thank, thank you very much.